Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Beloved Masters, there is a great stirring taking place among the masses those who, until now, were not ready to listen to the inner nudgings of spirit or to delve into the mysteries of creation. The frequency patterns of the new divine blueprint are beginning to flow into your awareness on the currents of change. We have said that you were very brave to step out of your comfort zone, out of the mass consciousness flow of popular beliefs and into the uncertainty of untried territory. You have been willing to face up to the challenges, and to not be deterred by those who said you were wrong, evil, or called you wishful thinkers. You are proving that what you have accepted as your truth is indeed working, and the validation is concrete and visible for all to see so that there can be no dispute. Fear is the greatest deterrent to change, but you have tamed your fears, and more and more of you are stepping forth into your power. Each time you visit your fifth dimensional pyramid of power or light, you become more adept at tapping into and using the gifts of creation. You gradually bring back more and more of the rarefied, unmanifest adamantine particles of creator light to infuse, integrate, and share. See these streams of light spiraling down into the physical realms of expression, as they gradually become tangible and take form under your direction via your visions, dreams and clear intention. Many of you have learned the discipline necessary to hold your visions without wavering, and you are learning that the miracles of manifestation take place one clear thought, one step, or action, and one day at a time. There are no shortcuts, beloveds, you must follow the universal laws of manifestation in order to harness the power of creation. No matter where you are on the path of enlightenment, if you are reading our messages, and you are doing your best to claim your self-mastery, there is a place for you among the new legions of light that are being formed around the world. As you become proficient at accessing the power and majesty of the higher dimensions, and you begin to get a glimpse of how wondrous the material planes of existence can be, the excitement begins to build. That is what is happening all over the world. It is a very personal experience for even though you may have much confusion, turmoil, and chaos around you, you are learning to stay centered within a hologram of harmonious CO existence and joy. As time goes by, you will find that your center of serenity will extend further and further outward. And as more of you begin to tap into the eternal power of the higher planes of consciousness, it will spread faster and faster. Never doubt, dear ones, it will ultimately encompass the world for it is an integral part of the future of humanity and the earth. One of the major areas of physical interaction that must be explained so that you may come to a greater understanding, is the balance of the male or female energies within each of you. The battle of the sexes began eons ago, as some of the unique energies of the Lemurian race and the Atlantean race began to merge. The Lemurian race was overlighted by the energy of the beloved mother goddess. She focused on the integration of the love or emotional nature within the physical vessel, along with the desire to create on the physical plane, and to nurture and assist the new spirits arriving on earth. Last but not least, was to establish each soul's intuitive mind connection with spirit via the creative cord of life or light. This was the dominating focus of the divine blueprint for humanity at that time. You were like joyous, exuberant, curious children for this was a grand new experience for all of you. Midway through the age of Lemuria, the golden age of Atlantis began to emerge, and for this cycle, the dynamic energies of the Father God were the dominant force on Earth. Powerful masculine energies came to the fore, as humanity learned to use their minds to control the energies of the first ray and to become masters of co-creation on the earthly plane. You added the mental body components as you became more proficient in developing and using your physical senses, as well as your spiritual senses, or what you now call extrasensory perception. As the energies of polarity and duality began to emerge, a division in consciousness also came into play. Some perceived the masculine traits and attributes to be superior, and others favored the gentler feminine virtues. Gradually the battle of the sexes began 
and you began to mistrust the opposite sex more and more because of the many painful memories you experienced over your many lifetimes. Dear hearts, you are a composite of all your vast past experiences and memories. You have had many lifetimes as a female where you were abused or mistreated by men. There have also been many lifetimes in the male body where you suffered the loss of your beloved mate, you were betrayed, or you did not measure up in some way. All those conflicting energies, encoded in memory seed atoms within your auric field, your brain structure and your DNA, will color your outlook on the opposite sex that is, until you resolve and transmute them. You eventually separated into two sub-rays, one representing our Father God, and the other are representing our Mother God. You have divided and separated into many facets or fragments of consciousness since, but you have forever yearned and sought your wholeness or holiness. At the core of your being, what you are really seeking is the reunification with the other half of your perfect God spark of creation that was sent forth into conscious awareness. How can you accomplish the healing and reunification of these two primary facets of yourself? First, by developing a balanced sense of self-worth and self-love. You will begin to radiate the higher vibratory energy outward from your auric force field, and those with whom you come in contact will respond in kind. Learn to trust yourself and your intuition so that you may trust others. You will never feel alone when you learn that you have a mighty force of angels ever near you, ready to protect, encourage, love, and support you every moment of the day or night. Release the pain of the past by forgiving yourself and all others. Go into your sacred pyramid, and envision all the players in your many dramas of life there with you. Ask that all the imbalanced energies, painful distorted memories, and hurtful interactions be dissolved in the fountain of the wondrous neutralizing violet flame of transformation. Watch as the electrifying waves of creator light permeate your being to its depths gradually returning you to a perfect balance of godly virtues, both masculine and feminine in nature. Then see all those major players from your past healed and brought into harmony, as well. Watch as they merge and blend with you as you all become a unified, balanced whole. If you do this, the lessons you were to learn from these interactions will be deemed successful. You will change all the probable futures you have created with these past soul companions, and you will not have to play out the scenarios in the old karmic way of cause and effect interaction. Are you ready to assume the many cloaks of empowerment and godliness that of being a nurturing mother and or, or a strong father figure, the playful child, a comforting soul mate, or a faithful friend? Your relationships are changing, your soul families are growing, and encompassing hundreds, even thousands, instead of focusing only on your physical family thereby limiting your love to the few. You are moving toward a higher vibration of love, that which incorporates spirit or soul love as well as human heart love. You will have to confront your fears of intimacy, and open your heart to give and receive the deepest, most profound human love possible. You must open your total being to love love from the Creator Source down to the least of God's creations. How can you begin the process of reunification without love? one for another. There will still be those who come into your life with whom you do not resonate, and that will be so as long as you are in the physical vessel. If you can maintain an attitude of non-judgment, and radiate love to the essence of each person, you will not have to experience a karmic dance or interaction with them. Bless them and allow them to follow their path, while you follow your own. It is time for humanity to remove the etheric shields of protection they have placed over their heart or solar plexus centers so that they cannot be hurt or unduly influenced. Removing the protective membrane of light, which guards your sacred heart, will allow the love or light of our father or mother to flow freely both into and then outward from your sacred heart center. Dear hearts, there is another important concept that we wish to present to you. In doing so, we know that it will trigger fear and doubt for many of you. If this is the case, we ask you to set the information to the side, and ask that it be validated if it is to be your truth, or if it is too uncomfortable, to just disregard it. 
There is much information coming forth that will challenge the old concepts and thought forms of the past. Just as children learn the simple basic concepts in their early years, and the lessons and theories become more complex and thought-provoking as they mature this applies to your spiritual education and growth as well. We have told you that the Supreme Creator has begun to emanate new rarefied love or light essence from the core of its being. It contains all the facets of creation, which include white fire seed atoms, energy components, of never before experienced new creations. Within the wondrous multiple beams of Creator light is a black ray of pure unmanifest potential. The Creator is sending this ray as a gift to all of you it contains the stillness of the great void. It is accessible to all who are brave enough to tap into it, and to use some of your reserve of adamantine particles of light to help mold and recreate the beauty and majesty of Gaia your host planet. First came the void, and then came the light, and within the light are all good and wondrous things, however, the light would not shine so brightly without the darkness. Many of you fear the darkness and your shadow side, perceiving them as evil. All is a part of the one the Creator. There is nothing to fear. You, as human beings, have created many things to fear, but that is not the Creator's doing. Do you fear the great void that is the backdrop for the stars and constellations? Some of you fear the night, yet it is not the darkness that you can lay the blame on, but the hurtful things that humans do under the cover of darkness. We wish to help you to begin to investigate and transmute those old self-limiting concepts so you may broaden your horizons and assume your cloak of light. With the gift of light comes a great responsibility the leadership role that we mentioned earlier. We ask you to live your lives with a heightened sense of awareness, to feel the joy of being connected to all that is, and then to share the joy with others, to use your willpower to move swiftly along the path of enlightenment so as you gain a higher vantage point, you can more easily assist others over the rough spots, to love others with all your heart and soul, as the Creator loves you, to speak your highest truth with love, compassion and discernment, to see the best in everyone, and to know that we are all a part of the same great I Am. Precious friends, we begin and we will complete this particular divine mission together so that you may join us in the next great cosmic adventure that our Father or Mother God have planned. We will encourage you, stretch your minds, and we will gently nudge you when appropriate, but most of all, we will love you eternally. I am Archangel Michael.